right, guys, we got this 08 Nissan Quest here, and it's a crank that'll start. Scan it for codes. We got this transmission engine speed fault and uh, can circuit in the past. Let's see if we can clear these. So we'll clear these quick, then we'll try cranking this. There we go. Let's see. So, we'll have to see what our engine RPM is on our, and our fuel pump is like really loud. So we should probably check the fuel pressure too. I usually don't check fuel pressure, but it's really loud when you crank. See all signals. All I did was charge the battery up for this. See cold zone. Calculate load. And take crank angle. Let's see. See anything? Oh, engine speed. Let's try this. This pump is loud. Do you guys hear that? Super, super loud. Let's check fuel on this. I'm gonna get out my fuel volume tester and we'll check it because it's super loud. I also did notice like this stuff ain't tight. Oh, we should probably see what our mass airflow rating is. Because uh, I don't think this will start if we just have the mass airflow sensor. Uh, mass airflow. Let's take this off pounds a second. Rams a second. So, I guess we could check for spark real quick too. Let me pop this cover off. We'll lift the coil up. These bolts loose? Oh, they're already loose. Huh. This car's been sitting here for a couple weeks. I haven't. It's a neighbor's car. I guess they were working on it. So battery, hold down. So let me get this out, pop up a coil, we'll check a coil, see if we got spark. You guys got my test light on ground right there. Got to come over here, I just put it lifted up. We're gonna see if it sparks, hopefully. This will pick it up. Let's see what happens here. Let me stop this and I'll go back and watch the video. Okay, so we obviously had spark. So let's check our fuel. That was awesome. So I'm going to get this fuel. Okay guys, sorry about that. So I took the line off here. There was not even a drop of fuel that came out of this. So I don't even know if we have fuel. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hook my fuel volume tester up and we'll see if we get anything. Okay, we got our fuel volume tester set up. So let's see what happens here when we crank this. Hopefully 
this works up. We can see it right there. So there's nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure we got fuel in this. Okay guys, so we're putting some gas in the tank here. Make sure we put enough in to get this car started. Oh, now it's coming out my valve. Oops, forgot to close my valve. So this thing was out of gas. We were seriously out of gas. There we go, look at that. Starts. Second car now I had that was out of gas. And the gauge shows it has gas. So I'll put a couple of gallons in here for him. I did shut this off, my tool's leaking. Um, but hey, it starts, runs, let me get this stuff cleaned up. And uh, I can't believe that's it. i have to see what's leaking. Sometimes the seal dries out in this and then once it leaks, and it stops leaking, then it'll start working again. We'll have to see which one's leaking. But, yeah, let me get this cleaned up.